So welcome to this travesty of sorts known as Harvey Birdman, attorney at law. I'm more crazier than I thought I would be. Only because this music is strangely pimping for some godforsaken reason. Anyway, next case. That's a good question. We're going zen. We're going zen and very minimalist. I <laughs> like it. Nice. That'll cut down on all that silly we've been robbed fuss. Secret movie only. <laughs> um. Okay, so we've been robbed. We've been robbed. We've been robbed. Peanut, we've been robbed. <gasps> you think? Let's not be hasty now. Hey, I'm just happy they didn't get my computer. Or this stack of money. Some of that stuff was irreplaceable. My mask balm was in there. Mask my big balm? box of rubber bands. What? <laughs> oh, God. Jackie, give me the police department. Jackie? Let me use your computer to email Jackie. It Hey, why was it your computer stolen? Uh, uh blind justice? <laughs> Do we really need to involve the cops in this? Yes. Hmm, if not the police, who'd do it? Go ahead. I'll take the case. Well, um... Wow. We went to this now? Okay, cool. What the hell's with this stack of money? A stack of cash with no one's name on it? Finders keepers. Besides, it's in my office. It looks like someone has dropped the ring of keys with a yellow tag. This appears to be a triple duper grande coffee cup. This makes me thirsty for scalding liquid. <clears throat> location open. Perhaps I should move to another location and look for more evidence. Is that who I think it is? Itch high private eye, tied up and gagged on the floor of my room? Kinky. <laughs> what happened to this dude? Missed it by an inch. A private eye of the smallest stature. Inch high has served seven and seven on a number of occasions. safe who would have known all these years I had a safe behind my bookshelves now if I just had 
now if I just find some TNT to float up. X def X is desperate? It looks like someone left their death ray just sitting in front of my window, completely ruining my spectacular city view. Oh no. Exus death ray machine pushed in front of my office window. Not only is this device dangerous, it's a terrible eyesore. Now about what we picked up. A stack of Benjamins. And they perfectly fit in my pot. Like I say, if the money fits, keep it. Even if Peanut did say it was hits. A pair of car keys with a yellow tag. One for the door and one for the trunk. Or maybe it is one for the door and one for the ignition. Wait. Maybe one is a house key or a safe key. Very interesting. A used coffee cup. Great. Just what I want to do. Carry garbage around with me all day. Good thing the cup is empty. Or else I may have burned myself when I put it in my pocket. Well, we can actually go somewhere. And that somewhere is... The Java Lux. The fuck? Last Wait, one. I didn't do anything wrong. Not yet. Harvey, help me out here. Say something. Well, um, what can I tell him? Um. He's my client. Wait, I'm an attorney and he's my client. Yeah, he's my... Wait, what? What are the charges? Robbing your office. Take him away, boys. No, wait. I don't do well in tight spaces with lonely men. God damn. Well, I'll... <laughs> Examine what was dropped. It, it, I said, let's examine what was dropped. This appears to be a lubricant for superhero sensitive to facial chafing. It comes in a small, convenient tube. Nice. And in here, clues always hide in garbage cans. Dirty. Dirty little clues. Just as I suspected, the coffee cup on Peanut's desk came from Javalux. Also, just as I suspected, Ew. this trash coffee cup is disgusting. Ew. Update it. It turns out this coffee cup is from Javalux. Now if only I could find someone that drinks Javalux coffee. Good old sizzling Javalux. It seems that Secret Scroll dropped this full tube of mass foam. Just my luck, seeing as someone stole mine. Wait a second, is this mine? Does my face smell like this? Yeah, I 
think I had enough dumpster diving for today. Oh, look at that! A fortune cookie! And it's still in the wrapper! Lucky day! Two, fourteen, eight. A stale fortune cookie, probably not safe to eat. The fortune has three numbers separated with hyphens. Hmm, what could this be? Extra hell bar. Nice. Well. Back to the office. I nearly tipped from <laughs> just reading. Oh, everybody remembers the nail well Time Warner Company. Stick it, Birdman. The front door intercom. I wonder if this thing even works anymore. Uh, yes, Jackie. The intercom from my office. Jackie? Jackie, are you okay? I found something. What's this look like to you? Oh, I'm, I'm sorry, were you saying something? It's a greasy bag attached to a child's boxer shorts, and it's under pieces of my intercom, which means... Escape, whoever stole the stuff, drop the boxer slash bag. Escape. Right. Don't be shy. Get up close and do some examining. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Listen to the bag, taste the bag, and smell the poor mother... What? You want me to... <laughs> you should taste the bag. There's something familiar about this. Hmm. This grease smells like... Peanut oil. Is that in the bag too, or is it just the boxers? Hey, they're not mine. That's not enough wrapping for my package. Package! Special delivery! Take it to the back door! <laughs> really? Evidence. A small pair of children's boxes stuck to a paper bag? It looks like both objects are covered in peanut oil. How cute. The boxers have tiny acorns on them. Jackie here, what do you need? This is the intercom box from Harvey's office. It's broken, obviously dropped. But it still seems to work somehow. Back to the office. Someone's here. Maybe I should talk to them. We've been wrong. You too? No, we, as in the bird team. Oh, yeah, right. Have you found any clues? I have the 
this triple-duper grande coffee cup from Java Lux, which I found on Peanut's desk. Couldn't that just belong to Peanut? Well, he's an ex-barista. He grinds his own. Ha-ha! <laughs> Coarse grinding! <laughs> I also found these boxers and this greasy bag trapped under my intercom, which uh, lay shattered on the sidewalk. Plus a set of car keys and this stack of money. Oh, and this. Think it could mean something? Of course! So, for evidence, we've got a greasy bag slash pair of boxers, a coffee cup, a set of keys, a stack of money, and a death ray console that runs on two. I'll round up the suspects and see you at the jail! You, the object of my wrath. Really don't have time for this now. <laughs> hey, love what you've done with the place. Very minimal. Now, if you need furnishings, just let me know. I sell a bunch of stuff online. I'll uh, keep that in mind. Hey, I lost a couple of things recently. Uh, let's see here. One was a calfskin glove. Huh? Haven't seen it. Ah, shucks. Oh, and I left my death ray somewhere. It's right there by the window. Lock up when you leave. Location! Let's move. There's a prison up. Miguel Guerrero, what the hell are you doing here, man? It looks like Bird Girl brought Miguel Guerrero in for questioning. He already looks guilty with that big dumb face. Can you tell us where you were last night around midnight? That's easy. I stopped to get a triple duper grande at the Javalux on my way back to the pet shop. Wow, that's a lot of caffeine. Well, I'm a lot of ape. Unfortunately, I spilled most of the coffee on me and got a bad burn. That gorilla got grilled. It's bad enough when he does the puns. Please continue. I stood straight up. And the burn set in that way. Mm -hmm. I couldn't sit down all day. I bet. But you're sitting now. I spent the morning putting ice on it until I turned purple. I guess that made me a grape ape. Grape ape. <laughs> uh, I think someone else holds the trademark on that. Show him the evidence. That'll break him. Um, what evidence? What evidence? The evidence that links him conclusively to the crime? The evidence our whole case against him is based on? Oh. Oh, that evidence. Ah! You mean this evidence? This cup of coffee. Uh, it, it can't be. Maybe, maybe the bad burns put me in a state of confusion. If I were a fish, I'd be guilty. Oh. I'll see you in court. Sorry. Profile. really is that stupid. Mr. Peebles had a bird contest at the store. He said there were no perches necessary. Oh. The oversized ape loves coffee, but not just any old brand. He loves Java Lux. The bigger the better. His owner, Mr. Peebles, tries to keep Miguel's caffeine consumption to a minimum. He hasn't tried hard enough. So exam let's ex I said examine. Door number two. Secret squirrel. I bet I would bet his big secret is that he robbed my office. I should question this guy. Secret squirrel? You? You were there when they arrested me. Just questioning. Oh. I'm innocent. I didn't do anything wrong. You stole from me. Stole what? You don't have any evidence to prove that. That's true.
Then how would you explain this? When the police arrested you, this fell out of your trench coat. I didn't mean to. Wait, that's my mask bomb for my dry chap mask eyes. Mask. Oh, I chap. I get chap eyes for my mask too. I I guess anybody could have bought that. This is ridiculous. I've been good. I followed every term of my probation since you failed to get me off on those flashing charges. What? You were caught on tape. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I didn't do it. Just that you failed to defend me. Midnight last night. Do you have an alibi? Sure. I was on a stake out of Javelux. Heard there might be a gorilla that was scalding himself for insurance money. Have any luck? I struck out. Nothing. Filch. Nada. I got too hungry. So just before midnight, I grabbed a bag of nuts and went home. I bet. These nuts came in a bag? A bag of nuts isn't a bag of nuts without a bag, Birdman. That links you to the crime scene. How? Really? Well... Yeah. You're... Bag of nuts, sir. Uh... We found this underneath my intercom right in front of seven and seven. That could be anyone's. What about these? Ah, my boxers. We'll see you in court. <laughs> Profile. Major triple zero at your service. Secret squirrel triple digit spy. Just recently finished serving probation for ind <laughs> for indecent exposure charges. He loves gadgets, lady squirrels, and walnuts. <sighs> Two stupid dogs. I remember you well. Super secret, secret squirrel. Agent Triple Zero reporting for duty, Chief. Do I want to question him? Yes. Yes. You're all right. I'll go right away. I'm right? I'm right! I can't believe you're really gonna march right up to your arch enemy who's only been trying to steal your crest for years just to prove your other client's innocence. On second thought, you're right. It would be dumb to go looking for trouble. I'll, I'll deal with X later. The police gave me his home address. You want me to go visit the home of the guy who spends his every waking moment trying to steal my crest? Ha! I'd be better off sleeping with the rats. <coughs> yes. That don't make sense, but, you know, there you go. Um, Harvey, what are you doing on that side? Prosecuting, Your Honor. My office furniture has been stolen, and one of the two defendants is the guilty party. Uh-huh. Which one? Is it okay to say, I'm not sure? Okay? It's fantastic! Whoa. Any chance we can find them both guilty? <laughs> I'll do my best. Mr. Freezoid, you got red team this week. Hey, Your Honor, love to help you out, but I've already prepared a killer prosecution. Besides, admit it, it'd be pretty fun to see Birdman defend the people Whoa. accused of stealing from him, am I right? Slow down. Compelling. Slow down, I, subtitles. I invite you to represent the defendants. But, Your Honor, I'm the victim in this case. Fascinating. But, hey, you're a defense attorney. They're your defendants. Defend away, Mr. Prosecutor. Your case. I'd like to call Secret Squirrel to the stand. Hey, cool hat. Love the eye thing. Where were you last Thursday evening around midnight? Testimony. I 
was staking out the Javarux, looking for signs of a serial coffee scalder. I took a meal break just before midnight. Nothing beats a nice walnut cashew party mix at a time like that. I spent some time scouting out the ladies while I finished my snack. The stakeout turned into a strikeout, so I went home. Okay. Um, could you rephrase that, sir? So, these nuts came in a bag? Of course. I grabbed myself some nuts in a bag and devoured them as I finished up my steak out. So you're saying this greasy bag scene of the crime under the remains of my intercom attached to a pair of tiny boxers. Ah, my boxers! Harvey, didn't I just ask you to defend this man? Uh, what are you exactly? Oh, never mind. Um, <laughs> you did? Well, so far, you've done an excellent job of prosecuting him. Now give it another whirl from the fright side this time, or I'll find you in contempt of court, and you'll end up sharing a cell with the gorilla over there. Think. There must be something in the evidence that proves this bag is not secret squirrels. Present the evidence that could clear secret squirrels. These may be your boxers that were crammed into that paper sack, but tell us, what kind of nuts did you say you had, secret squirrel? A walnut cashew party mix. Then this bag couldn't possibly be yours, because this bag is covered in peanut oil. What? I'm allergic to peanuts. Don't worry, there's no more nuts left in the bag. <laughs> but I get sick from even trace amounts. Say, what now? I think I'm going into prophylactic shock. What the fuck? <laughs> Why did it have to be peanuts? <sighs> All right, medical recess until the squirrel recovers. But, Your Honor, my client is clearly innocent of the charges filed against him. And just how is that, exactly? <laughs> the peanuts. The peanuts! He couldn't have eaten what was in that bag. It would have killed him on the spot. <laughs> Damn. Harvey, you're right. Nice recovery. Not guilty. We'll reconvene to try McGilla Gorilla for the crime instead. Sure. <laughs> Not like this shit's making any sense anyway. Oh. -ho. Continue. Bill still hasn't replaced my stuff. Why is that still here? And why is it blocking my window? Yeah, let's move. There's something I want to examine. This. A highly suspicious blue feather. Delicate and blue. Tickly. A very suspicious blue feather. It looks like it came from a bird, or perhaps even a bird man. This will definitely help with this case.
Well, let's move to X's apartment. Thanks, Mrs. Uh, Eliminator. <gasps> the fuck? This is both creepy and flattering. Very much, isn't it? What a coincidence, it appears that X has the same custom handmade Harvey Birdman figurines that I do. I thought mine was one of a kind. This looks like X the Elementor's personal business card for some auction website. Evidence. A business card for X the Elementor with some website listed. MyHarveyObsession.com Creepy. A receipt for Larry's Discount Layers. Evidence. A receipt from Larry's Discount Layers concerning a subterranean dungeon complete with six types of death traps and a built-in smoothie machine. Hmm. Underground smoothies. The real question is, does it really taste like ass? vacuum tube. This appears to be a piece of glorious science! Some sort of vacuum seal electrical tube likely used to power a giant machine of some kind. Evidence! Hmm. This looks like it could be some sort of device that plugs into some type of technological machine. I really should have paid attention in science class. The top. Wait, there's a big red button. Where? Answer machine. How adorable. An answer machine that looks like me. Where do I press the... Where do I press to get the messages to play? Bad touch. a button. Wow. X has a bird cow under glass too? Ha. <laughs> Mine's better. If I could just find it. This stupid TV needs a remote to turn on. I don't see one anywhere here. Maybe if this place wasn't so cluttered I could watch my stories. Back to my office. Now, let's take a good look at this thing. Lever off. A massive breaker switch set in the off position. No wonder this thing is so quiet. Let me just flip this bad boy to the on position. Big red button. A giant ominous red button. I wonder what it does. Oh, look at that. My finger slipped.
This is a part of the machine that fires the death ray. Better steer clear of that thing. A fourth circular slot for some type of power tube. If only. Fits in the uh, whatchamacallit thing here. Uh oh. You know how this looks harmless enough. Plus, the machine spat out a business card? Evidence! Named after Alex Tuff. A business card for Tuff's moving company. The logo on this card looks suspiciously like the logos on the keys. Why, well, yes. Because it makes no sense. Miguel Gorilla, what is your beverage of choice? Coffee! And more than coffee, Javalux coffee. Now, I have your sworn affidavit that you were in the vicinity of the building purchasing a coffee in a paper cup identical to the one found at the crime scene around midnight the evening of the burglary. Sure! Well, then why don't you go ahead and just admit that you did it? All right, you got me. Now, can I go home to meet the people? Yay! <laughs> Well done. Guilty, as charged. Wait, can't we hear some actual testimony here? There's nothing for me to poke holes through. Testimony. I had just gotten off of work. I stopped at the Java Lux across from 7 and 7 to pick up a coffee before going home. I spilled some of the hot coffee on my lap. Fortunately, I ordered a triple dupe grande and still had some to drink. I stood right up and then couldn't sit down. The pain made everything kind of hazy. I bet. That must have been when I robbed Birdman's office. What? One, two, three, four. How do you know you robbed my office? Isn't that what I'm charged with? Sh should I confess to something else? I'm... I'm confused. You couldn't have robbed my office. It's impossible. Yeah, he couldn't have robbed the office because... Too injured. The coffee you spilled on yourself prevented you from sitting down or even bending over. You wouldn't be able to fit through my door. I, I suppose that's true. I didn't do it then? Well done, Harvey. I'd like to pronounce our primo primate friend here. Objection. I'd like a chance to further question the witness. Spoil sport. <laughs> Mr. Gorilla, you say you could not bend over at the time of the crime. Yes, that coffee did it to me. Can you climb, Mr. Gorilla? Like a monkey. Could you climb up through the window of Mr. Birdman's office? So that's how I did it. Exactly. Wait, wait. Objection. I can prove he didn't do that. Really? How? There was something that would have gotten in his way. Present evidence that proves McGillic couldn't have climbed in the office.
That makes no sense. <laughs> Check some real quick. Okay, we found the answer. It wasn't in the inventory. It's right here. When I came into my office this morning, I saw X's death ray machine blocking the windows. There's no way McGilla Gorilla could have gotten past it. Hoo hoo hoo! Not guilty again! Harvey, you're on a roll. Yay! That's it. Come on, Peanut, play along. Tell us what you did that night. I was playing darts at the birdcage. That's where I ran into X the Eliminator. He seemed a bit intoxicated. So I offered to look after his death ray device. Oh my. I would do the same for any friend. One, two, three, four, five. Uh-huh. So, you're friends with X the Eliminator. Well, by friend, I mean more like business associate. Mm. Then there would need to be the right reason. Uh-huh. So, you would say. What well, about a million? Or at least a thousand reasons. Yeah, those would be the right reasons. <laughs> so I say that was one, two, three, four, five. that thing all the way back to my office by yourself. I drove. You don't have a car. I know. I drove X's car. Oh, that explains those keys. Mm -hmm. Yep. Regular old car keys. Now, let's see what X has to say about all this. Next witness. That's my line. Line taker. Um, can I call X to the stand? Better. Holy <laughs> The fuck? Tell us what happened that night. Testimony. I was out celebrating the opening of my new business, and I suppose I may have had a few too many. Now, I asked Peanut if he'd watch after my death ray machine for me. I don't remember what happened afterwards. And now I find myself accused by you of robbing you blind. Me, your number one fan. FO. I mean, FO. <laughs> 
Aha. You give him these keys. Yes, they're to the moon. Oh, I mean, mother's escort. Good be about it, man. Damned escort. Mm hmm. One, two, three. So, you mean these keys right here? Everyone give Birdman a hand for completely wasting our time! <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three. You mean this? Would those, in fact, be keys to a moving van rented out by this company? Uh, yes. How did you? It's just, it's, it's so hard to talk about. But I'm finally moving into a place of my own. Say, tell me more about this place you're moving into. Revision. Well, I finally decided to move out of my mother's basement. I needed a moving van, and I paid Peanut to lend me a hand with lugging every day. My arms are so sore from packing and moving that I can barely move them. Anyway, it's a quiet little place. It's on the water with an amazing view. Cross examination. One, two, three. Odd. I was just in your room this afternoon, and it didn't seem like a thing had been moved. You what? Who gave you the right to barge into my sanctum sanctorum sanct sanctorum sanct <laughs> sanctorum sanctuary? Hey, mother. She does, in fact, own the place. Damn that woman! My arms are sore from a arm wrestling. The uh, the movers came and took care of everything for me after you left today. So, one, two, three. in an underground lair. Darn it! That was supposed to be a surprise. I had a whole set of death traps installed just for you. So, X, where did you get the money for something like that? Oh, shut up. You know what I did. You've known it all along. I did? I mean, yes, I did. You just did? Just do it. Do it! Lay down that final piece of evidence. That last piece of the puzzle that will reveal my crime and seal my fate. Okay, um... Would this be your card? So, by HarveyObsession.com, we buy slash sell Harvey Birdman memorabilia. Huh? <laughs> Damn you, Birdman! You foiled my plans. Once again! I still have some questions, though. Oh, oh, let uh, me. X's nefarious plot was to auction Harvey's stolen stuff off to the highest bidder, which, since it was all worthless to anyone but Harvey, would be Harvey. Then X hoped to make a bulk trade, the missing office furniture, for Harvey's crest, I am brilliant. Yes, you were. Um, yeah, that's exactly what I was going to say. Yay! Well, everybody, everything's back to normal. And Peanut, X, do you have anything to say to me? Uh, drawing a blank? <laughs> Something to do with you loaning me your crest? No, you can thank me for not pressing charges. Oh, yeah, I guess I could. But I won't! <laughs> One question. There was something found on two pieces of evidence that wasn't explained at trial, and that was... <laughs> Well, take a back. bag. Peanut oil, both on the nutsack and on the coffee cup. How did that happen? It's not a nutsack if it don't have nuts in it. <laughs> nutsack! Ha <laughs> ha! Finally getting that. And the coffee.
coffee cup with peanut oil? Yeah, that was mine. And that was an oil. Although it was a peanut derivative. <laughs> <laughs> So, um, <laughs> I have no clue why it made no damn sense, so I'm actually going to stop here. And in the next part, it's from Glamour to Slammer, when Harvey Berryman continues right after this. Thanks so much for watching. I'm seriously going to hell on.